Hi, I'm Carol Wilson, Editor-at-Large of Light Reading, and I'm here with Dan Pitt, the Senior Vice President of MEF. So Dan, um, obviously there's a lot of buzz around 5G right now, but 5G isn't just a wireless technology, it's also a, a fundamental change in the way services are being delivered to some extent, right? Why don't you tell us your perspective on that? So I think 5G will bring new services to the market, mm -hmm. uh, and MEF is really focused on service enablement and acceleration because that's where the revenue is for our members and for the industry as a whole. So we're looking at uh, things from a couple of different angles. Uh, one is um, how do we support MEF services over five to 5G endpoints? Okay. Uh, and that's actually quite straightforward because our service definitions and, and, and frameworks are kind of technology agnostic. If you look at you know Ethernet and, and layer one, layer three, and, and 5G is a wireless technology and it's not always mobile, it's fixed as well. Right. So those things are not very hard. The other is sort of to uh, support 5G services with some of the MEF constructs. And that's where we're looking mostly at, uh, at transport okay. and some of the service interfaces and the, um, um, the attributes that we have on, uh, on the APIs. Okay, so what needs to fundamentally change about transport in order to support 5G? Uh, the only thing that might really change, first of all, we need more of it. Okay. It will go deeper into the network. and there are More, more of it in like the metro areas and things like that? In, in where 5G is in front hall, back hall, and mid hall. Okay. And now, uh, we're also seeing a need for um, not just carrier ethernet on the fiber, but sometimes IP transport. It's certainly the case for 4G. Interesting. No okay. reason we can't do it for 5G. And with just pure, you know, IP opt sorry, pure optical layer one, one stuff. We're okay. seeing a lot of stuff carried on fiber in the 5G world. Uh, some of it's going to be ethernet, some will be IP, some will be you know, layer one optical, and some will be RF. Interesting, okay. And what kind of help can MEF provide in that sort of transition to this new form of transport? What, what we really like to do is make it easy to adopt some new technology without disrupting the whole stack, okay. without disrupting the processes for launching services, okay. modifying services, paying for services. Okay, the whole provisioning, billing, settlement kind of thing. Yeah, that's okay. why we have these abstractions that we've tried to really abstract everything we can out of the the transports, and 5G is an example of that, except where we have new performance requirements. Okay. And that has could have to do with throughput or latency or latency variation. So where within MEF does that work take place? We have work going on in the LSO committee right now on, okay. on sli the slicing project. We'll sort of, sort of determine what, if anything, we really have to do to foster slicing in the WAN to support slicing in the RAM. Okay, okay. Uh, and then we have work going on in the applications committee. Do we change need to change anything about the intent-based interfaces from the applications where we have new capabilities that can be exploited because of the 5G capabilities in the applications. What do you see as the biggest challenge in this area? Well, I think the biggest challenge in the 5G area is developing the business case to make the investment in mm -hmm. these new capabilities okay. worth, worthwhile. Okay, that's always a challenge because you've, you've got to be able to show the revenues are there before you start investing heavily. Either the new revenues are there or Current revenues will be lost if you don't take these steps. Okay, but 5G seems to be moving ahead pretty quickly, so are you guys going to be ready? In many cases, we're almost ready. I think some of our, we're working on something for service, uh, for transport for 5G networks. Mm -hmm. um, we've already done this for other networks, and so we have a modification. It's just an extension of that. Okay. And we're, we're, our services are going to be 5G ready. That's not going to be the problem. Okay, great. Dan, thanks for being here with me today. It's my pleasure, Carol. It's always great to see you.